How are you doing? My name is Michael, is known as Third Gen Gamer. Welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Astrolock. And last episode, we went and did the whole Mount Chimney thing. We fought Team Magma with Maxi of Team Magma. And then we got to Lava Ridge Town. And then also, we faced the uh, the Lava Ridge City Gym. We beat Flannery. We got the Heat Badge, Fire I don't remember what it's called. But we lost a Pokemon along the way, on the way to Flannery, which was Jacob the Loudred. And anyways, we have a little bit of a team change this last episode. If you haven't seen the last episode, go check it out. Because a lot of great stuff happened in that video. Especially a lot of great edits. I'll tell you right now. That was probably one of my better edited videos. I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, I felt like that was my best. I don't know. Maybe there are other ones before that you guys felt differently. But I think last one was definitely... I felt like that was my best edited video. And I just hit my microphone. I'm sorry about that. Also, before we get going here, uh, I just want to talk about... Well, we got new equipment. And it may not seem like it right now because of the fact that I officially have a green screen. And the only way I can use this said green screen is if I move my desk around. So, currently right now, how this is set up right here right now is this is not actually my uh, what it looks like, you know, in real life. It's, for example, if you see the green screen behind me, which you won't be able to see because it's my background. I don't know. I'll make like a quick edit to like pop in the green screen or something. But yeah, I had to move my desk around. So I have a picture of my old layout, my whole setup that was always behind me. And, you know, yeah, currently I'm facing it. But anyways, that's cool stuff. But yeah, this green screen got it during Amazon Prime Day. And then I also got a monitor on my Amazon Prime Day, which also I got a 20, uh, 21 21.9 ultra wide monitor that i have right here i'm not using it as my recording monitor because my setup currently doesn't allow me to do such a thing but that's okay in the future it will be but i have it right here and i'll tell you right now my editing is going to be even more efficient it's going to be so cool i love it this thing is massive and yeah i highly advise if you're a content creator and you can afford it make sure you, you i would highly consider a 21 9 monitor because having a whole bunch of space like for editing have like a huge space for timeline effects and the video preview and then have effects like the list of effects and then uh the actual library of, of videos i'm using in, in each like like different clips i'm using in one video i'm just talking about premiere real quick but anyways there's a, a lot it's there's a lot of benefits having an ultra wide monitor it's having so many things you can do at once but anyways uh yeah i think we should just get going with this video i mean we've gone about two and a half minutes without actually doing anything so yeah, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new for some more Pokemon Emerald Astrolock, and be sure to hit that bell icon for notifications whenever I upload. Okay, so, let's continue onwards here. I did do a little bit of grinding, which that reminds me, I should probably do a team recap. I did record the grinding montage, hopefully it shows up in the video and nothing went wrong. But anyways, our team is level 29 now, but we'll go through the movesets regardless just to make sure... Uh, people are up to date on the team because definitely if you missed last episode th there is definitely a layout change or, and there's a team change as we're gonna start off with taj the combustion with the water availability with ember bulk up double kick and peck next we have phoenix the star me with the steed boost ability with surf water gun recover and swift then we got adam the umbreon with pursuit beat up quick attack and rock smash and then we got a drive the pincer with the pure power ability with vice grip focus energy revenge and seismic toss then we got demi god the vibrava with the intimidate ability with bite sand attack fan attack and sand tomb and lastly we have energy of the gold duck with the plus ability with confusion scratch screech and disable so that is our team as it's standing right now before we actually go and take on our dad that's the reason why i did grind in the first place because the next gym is literally probably going to be in this episode so yeah, they're pretty much back to back. These these two gyms, and all I have to do is go back to Pedalburg City, and bam, we're we're at, we're taking on the fifth gym leader, just like that. So there really isn't a whole lot to do other than go into this desert. We can get an encounter. We can go fight some trainers, and I believe we can get a fossil too. So we get a couple of poke effects in here. That's gonna be awesome. Anyways, let's get our encounter first and foremost. Let's see what we get. Oh, Vaporeon. Okay. Okay. A Vaporeon. It's literally shiny. If you don't know who shiny is, she always shows up at my streams a lot. Like, just pretty frequently. And that is the name of our Vaporeon from uh, Pokemon XD Live. But if you haven't checked that out, be sure you go check that out. It's definitely a quality series. But I'm definitely having a fun time. And hopefully, you can stop by and have a good time as well. So, we're going to... Oh, I'm concerned I'm going to kill it. Okay. 
So let's see. I'm gonna try my best to catch it. Sandstorm could potentially kill it. But we caught it. Okay. So it is time to find out what the poke effect is for Vaporeon. So the poke effect for Vaporeon is you must teach Hydro Pump. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that off screen. But yes, that is great. So yeah. Um, Vaporeon, the bubble jet Pokemon. Vaporeon underwent a spontaneous mutation, grew fins and gills that allowed them to live underwater. They have the ability to freely control water. Okay, so we named a Pichu after Shiny at the beginning of the series, but then it got killed right away. I kind of feel bad about that. So, we're going to name this Vaporeon after Shiny again. Well, I mean, not again, but well, I guess we're going to name another Pokemon after Shiny. But anyways, Shiny, you're in the box. I'll be adding Hydro Pump off screen. Because I don't want to interrupt this. Because I'm planning on streaming afterwards. I don't want any unnecessary pauses to say the least. So anyways, we got a fresh water. And let's start fighting some of these trainers. Oh, the Mirage Tower. Oh, we could have had an Abra. That would have been cool. But let's see. Is the tower here by chance? It is not. I was hoping the tower would be here. Just because that the fossils are in there. And then you could get another encounter. So yeah, that's not. it's not here. So I guess we can't do that. So, we're going to have to not do that. I was expecting another encounter, but we're not getting it. So, let's just keep going on here. Now, we have a, a metal and then a Marowak. And, yeah, that should go down pretty easy. What was the next one? one? Snubbable. Well, that's going down as well. Not that for Marilyn. But the, wait, that was another... The other person was Marilyn before... What is it with all the Marilyns here, people? There's too many Marilyns. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Anyways, let's see. The fossils normally are here in Ruby and Sapphire, but in Emerald, it's in the Mirage Tower here in this area. But they're not. the Mirage Tower is not here, and I'm not sure how I can get that to spawn because every time I played this game, it was there. So I don't know if it's a time-based thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably is. But anyways, we can't do that. So we'll have to come back for another time if we want to get our fossil. Which would have actually been pretty clutch if we got that. Because it would have been a level 25 Pokemon. It would be a good backup Pokemon in case one of our other Pokemon decided to go under. Anyways, it would have been pretty cool. But it's not going to happen. Because that's just the way it is sometimes. It really do be like that sometimes. But what can I say? It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying a bunch of stuff for no reason now. Okay. Let's go for this Porygon and Revenge. will kill it. Okay, that's it. Another Maryland. Is there something wrong with this randomizer? Like, seriously, that's a lot of Marylands for one area. I mean, what am I... Okay, that's a double battle. <gasps> oh, psych! Oh, my God. Game Freak, you got me. You literally got me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I think we'll be fine, but... Unbelievable, man. Oh, no. Please... Let's kill that Registeel ASAP! Oh, no. Okay, it went for Curse. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. If it went for an explosion, that would have been bad. But it's going to die. Oh, my gosh. Registeel is the bane of my existence. Okay. It's not, it's not as much of a bane of ex existence as, uh, like, Delta Mulga from, let's say, my Pokemon Insurgents Randomizer notes like on my old channel. Just saying, because that was... Yeah, that Pokemon is literally awful. I, I despise that Pokemon for every fiber of my being. Or for every fiber? It's with, ev with every fiber of my being. And who says that anymore? I don't even know. I don't know. I saw that from a TV show. Some, It was from uh, King of Queens. If you ever watched that show. It's a good show. It's with Kevin James. And we got TM43 beat up. Yippee. Okay. So, now we're done with this area. And I guess all we can do now is head to Petalburg. So, let's just speed up here, and I did not mean to do that. Okay, let's run. Okay. So, that's it for that area. I was really hoping I can go to that, that tower so I can get that fossil, but like I said, there's nothing we can do about that. So, it is what it is. So, we're going to go and... I think the fastest way is to go and uh, go down south, and then there's like a little route that connects to Odale Town, so we can go that way. But I think we should probably take the cycling road just because there's extra trainers there. We could always use the extra training. So let's see. I need to... Okay, the mock bike is uh, selected. Okay. So we just have to go this way. And I believe there's like three or four trainers that fight here. Not you. This one does. Okay. And it's an Ekans. That was an easy fight. 
And do you fight? I don't know. Yes, you do. Okay. Let's get rid of that. And Grimer, get that out of here. Which, by the way, Grimer. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I want to talk about Pokemon Go. Okay? I play Pokemon Go all day, every day. No, I'm kidding. I don't play it all day, every day. But I do play Pokemon Go. And I was stuck on, I think it was the Jumpstart quest when you had to evolve a Grimer. I don't know if it was that one or what was it? Meltan. I'm still working on the Meltan one. But... Oh my gosh, I could not find a Grimer for my life when I was playing that game. I had more than enough candies for it. I was just lucky that one of my uh, co-workers had a Grimer. He played Pokemon Go as well. And uh, he traded it to me so I could evolve it. I was like, oh, thank goodness. That would have been absolutely awful if I couldn't, if I was stuck on that. Oh man, I'd have been so annoyed. Anyways, oh, a pincer. Okay, brick. Okay. We're definitely... I'm gonna get rid of focus. Hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I heard something. So, back to this. Uh, I really haven't used focus energy at all. Also, I really haven't been using revenge at all either. I hate the fact that you always go second. I'm gonna get rid of revenge. Because I feel like focus energy could be useful. So, let's see. Relicanth. Let's go into Demigod. It will go for a sand tomb and faint attack, and that thing is gone. Kendra, okay, this person has a lot of power. Uh, let's go to Adam, and we'll just pursue its. Fi oh, it's level six. Okay, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the levels. Okay, um, excuse me. Okay, you fight. Okay, these are all level six. What is this garbage? Oh, a Charizard. Hello. Go out into Phoenix. Okay, this one's up. Why is it level six? Slowbro, level 14. Oh, okay. Now, now you bring out the big guns. Okay, that's it for Lawrence. What's going on? I thought we were going to the space station. Yeah, that was reference to Ratchet Deadlock game on the PS2. That was a quality game. I love that game. If you ever played Ratchet and Clank uh, and you never played Ratchet Deadlock, it's definitely one of the fun ones to do. It's kind of, it's like one of those third person shooter games. And yeah, anyways, it's a fun game. It's like Ratchet's in like a game show and it's the it's just called Deadlocked. Oh, I forgot these people at the fight. Okay, whatever. We'll fight them. But um Ratchet's on this game show. Essentially what it is that you have to you have to kill other enemies in that game. And it's like anyways, you have to be the last one standing then you win the game show. Anyways, uh that reference was towards the end of the game. So Anyways, it's a it's a good one. It's a good game. I recommend it. And it's funny because they because it's like like a game show. They actually have like announcers in the background. I mean, some of the lines they use over and over and over again throughout the game, and it kind of gets a little redundant. But you know, going through it every once in a while and just playing the game and listening to the announcers is pretty funny. I, I really liked it a lot. They did a really good job with that, especially for a PlayStation Two game. Oh man, they they really they really did a good job. Oh, wait, we can't surf. Forgot about that. Can we go to Mr. Briny? I forgot we... I mean, we do have Surf, but we don't have the badge to use Surf. So, is Mr. Briny here? I think he is. I think so. We just went all the way out here for nothing. Yeah, we could just do this. That's fine. Yeah, we could have gone through uh, Verdant Turf to go into uh, Rustboro. But, oh well. It's fine. Okay. So, now we're back at Route 104. Yippee. And now we're back... To Paddleburg City. So I say since we're only 14 minutes in this video, we should definitely take on the gym. And we'll just have to buy some items first, though. Yeah, okay. So let's buy some super potions. I feel like we'll need them because we are going to be underleveled. And let's see. We don't really need any, like, healing, like, status because we have all the lava cookies. Um... Honestly, we really don't need anything here other than super potions. Let's, you know, let's buy three more. So we have 15. You never know. We might need them. So let's see. Let's move around our team a little bit. Let's put Phoenix up top. And then we'll just go through and fight every single trainer in here. And then we'll just, uh, then we'll face our buddy, our father, Norman. Oh my goodness. It's Jacob as always. Hello, Jacob. I'm sorry I killed you off last episode. Jacob has disowned me now because... <laughs> because I killed him in the series. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He didn't do that. But I could tell... 
he was definitely not excited to see like when we did the premiere which by the way thank you so much for all the support during the premiere i really love hanging out with you guys i'm not sure if this will be a premiere it might be but um i don't know i don't want to have premieres uh happen all the time because i want to make them feel a bit special you know not just be the simple uh like just i don't want people just to expect a premiere to come up every single time you know so let's see i'm gonna go for some oh come on why is this Gorbis so bulky? Keeps getting crits on me. I hate this. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm going to heal the stupid confusion. Because I'm sick of it. The fact that it got the confusion hacks on me was very obnoxious. Oh my gosh. What? Okay. Okay. First of all, Gorbis is not necessarily that... Or, I mean, Umbreon's not that powerful an attack. Let's just go into A-Drive, and then we'll just Vice Grip its face. There we go. There, it's dead. Okay. We're gonna go back, heal, and then let's get back and... Yeah, that was an interesting fight. Very interesting, to say the least. But that's okay. So, we went through here before. I mean, it was the defense room, which makes sense. I mean, the randomizer gave it a pretty good Pokemon for that. I guess it, it might have used an X-Defend. I guess I don't remember. Okay, so let's go back and fight this person now. And we'll Surf. That thing has Drought. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Why are you giving me I uh, using items? Okay, it's fine. We got through it. Let's see. This is the gym leader's room. Let's not go through because we want to make sure we fight every single trainer to get as much experience as we can because... If we skip some of these trainers, we'll never get their experience ever again. Okay, so it's dead. And let's move onwards. Wait, we already fought you. Wait, ah! I did not mean to do that. Okay, go this way. And a Hound Hour. And that's it for Jessica. And now a one-hit KO mo room. I believe this is the last, the last room. So... And it's... The <laughs> Yeah, that, that swallow died. Okay, so that's the gym leader's room. Okay, so we fought every single trainer in here. I did that real quick. I don't want to spend too much time on that because I know that it's not some... But that's not what people are here for. They're here for the gym fights. Those are supposed to be epic. And yeah, I believe Norman's best level is level 32. So we are going to be going in there a little bit underleveled, sort of. So it'll be fun. Let's just hope that Norman doesn't have a Lugia. I mean, that, I mean or really a Reggie. I mean, I could deal with, a, like, a, a Reggie Rock, or, and maybe even a Reg Ice. Uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe Reg... I don't know. Uh, for sure, Reggie Rock, but the other two... Uh, I just hope he doesn't have one. Because those, those are natural Nuzlocke Pokemon killers. Okay. So now it is time for our father. Hmm. So, you did get four badges. Fine, as I promised, we'll have a Pokemon battle. Michael, I'm happy I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Michael, you better give it your best shot, too. Yeah, no, I, I would, yeah, for sure. I would just go in here and just lose just for you, Dad. No, that is not happening. We are here to get this badge from a Pokemon Masters. We're going to beat the Elite Four. We're going to be the champion of the, of the entire region we're not going to just sit down and lose the Nuzlocke just for your convenience. No. So I'm just happy he's expecting the best out of us. Pinsir. That is a... Okay. That has pure power. So that that's scary. Um, Yeah, we'll just go for a Surf and hope for the best. We don't kill. Okay, it's going to go for a Heart. What a dumbass. Okay. Okay. It's, he's going to die. And we got the speed boost, so there's no way this thing can outspeed us. I mean, we outspeed it to begin with, but for sure we're gonna destroy. Uh, you're gonna heal. Fine. Use your hyper potions on the on the pincer. It's fine. It, you can just just let it die. Just just waste them on this. Oh, that I got a crit. Hey, there you go. Okay, so just to make sure we kill it, I'll just go for a surf. That'd be great if he just wasted all of his hyper potions on this pincer. That would be great, but nah, he just used up one, which I think the gym leaders normally only do that. So let's see, Banette. That is the next Pokemon. Well, we can just go out to Adam for that. Adam's probably the best counter for this. So let's see. And I just noticed Adam's level 29 has 100 HP. That's that's amazing. Okay, so level 27. 
Pursuit. Does half. Good. Okay, you're gonna screech us. Okay, that that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, go for another pursuit. And it's gone. Okay. So, so far, so good. Got a Paris. A Paris? That's funny. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to go out to Taj. Now, I'm actually kind of nervous. I bet the ace has to be somewhat good. There's no way the randomizer will be that nice to us. I don't believe it. So, Amber. That's going to die because it's quite effective. So, bam! That is gone. And let's see. Last Pokemon. It's going to be a legendary. A Whalmer? Oh, man. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that all day, any day, every day, whatever you want to say. We are... Okay, I, that's a little bit scary because it does have rollout. So, you know what I, what this, you know what I want to do? Go out to energy. Disable. So it can't do a rollout combo. There you go. Strats. Freaking strats. Okay. So... Let's go for some confusions. I mean, I don't expect to do a whole lot here. But if I can disable that rollout. Yeah, okay. It's going to go for water pulse. Okay. That's fine. Oh, that did a lot more than I expected. Oh, it's actually level 31 was the ace. Oh, I guess we were on par then. Okay. So, Screech. Go for your rollout. I know you have it. Oh, maybe, maybe Wilmer doesn't have it. It might not. Why? Of course, it's never that easy. Don't hit yourself. Thank you, energy. Okay, so it's at minus four. So I'm gonna go for a scratch. Okay, I might I'm gonna heal first. I don't wanna a crit possibly could kill energy. So let's just use let's just use this fresh water. That's yeah, it for water pulse. It might not have rollout. So, if I disable it, I'm curious what will happen. Okay, and I'm going to do that. Disable. We snapped out of confusion. Perfect. Okay, what is it going to do? I mean, obviously, if it used Water Pulse this turn... Yeah, it's disabled. Okay. So, let's just scratch it. Whirlpool. It doesn't have Rollout. Okay, it has Citrus Berry. Okay. So, I'm going to strategically play this out. I'm going to conf use Confusion because I know it won't do a whole lot of damage. Because I don't want Norman to heal. Oh, there it is. It was just there waiting. It was just... Okay. We eat it up, though. So, I'm going to go for another Screech. Or we miss. Okay. All right. That... It's just trying to play... I was trying to play it safe, but okay. So, yeah. We'll be fine. We'll just go for a Scratch. Now that Whalmer's locked in, it can't heal. So, we'll live this. Disable no more. Okay. But we'll outspeed, kill the Whalmer, and that it will be it. Okay. So that really wasn't that bad of a gem fight. That is it for developer Jacqueline. I, I can't. I can't believe it, Michael. I lost to Michael? Yeah, you lost to me. Are you kidding me? This guy, he doesn't even, he doesn't know our potential. He doesn't even know our potential. He's just like, oh, I'm just going to stop my son, you know, just completely destroy him. No, dad, don't pull off a Scott. And be a good father figure. That's right. Norman, what a jerk. <laughs> but we get the balance badge. And there we go. So with that badge, defense of all your Pokemon will increase. And now the Pokemon that will surf will be able to travel over water. And this is my gift to you. I'm sure you can use it correctly. TM42. Let's see what this is. It is Thief. Okay, well that's fine. But the father makes me happy and a little sad. It's odd. Okay, so here we go. Now we can get the HM for Surf, so that makes energy more relevant. Here we go. I'm honestly surprised energy is still around at this point. But, I mean, energy has, has proven its worth. Like, seriously. Golduck, I thought it would be like, oh, I can't learn a water move. It's not going to do too well in this series. But, voila. Energy is still here. It has been clutch for, I think, every single ace of every gym leader, if I remember correctly. Or at least had something to do with the ace. It's crazy. It's just how good Golduck is. Disable is just so helpful. 
Okay, so we're going to speed this up. Michael, please excuse for dragging you all the way here, uh, but Wally's become very healthy since he went to Vernon Turf Town. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped to catch a Pokemon, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I did catch help him catch a Pokemon. Yeah, um, I was just there watching him do his thing. That's all I did. I didn't really encourage him or anything. He, I just sat there and didn't even talk. My character really never talks, to be honest. I mean, just take a look. Does he ever talk? I don't think he ever talks, but whatever. I think that Wall that made Wally really happy. Actually, it's not just Wally. It just made me, his father, really happy, too. I'm happy that he's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. HMO3 Surf. There we go. Oh, my God. I swear. If energy cannot learn Surf. <laughs> Thank goodness. And Taj can learn Surf. <laughs> okay, well, we'll not teach. We can't. I don't know. It's up to you guys whether you want me to teach Taj surf. I mean, it's all randomized. Like, Phoenix, for some reason, can't learn it, but but because of the poke effect, we were able to give it surf. Normally, if it was able to learn it, it would say learned at the top, but because it already has surf and it's not compatible for some reason, uh, it doesn't say that it's learned surf. So that's actually kind of interesting. I've never seen that actually happen before. Well, let's see. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of uh, Screech. And yeah, there we go. So that's great. Energy learned surf. And yeah. I say we did quite we did a good job this episode. No deaths, another gym badge. I think it's a good it's a good place to wrap up the episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new for some more Pokemon, Emerald, Astrolock. See you guys later.